The Ohio State Buckeyes dethroned the top-ranked Spartans on Sunday night, and the newest Big Ten Player of the Week for men's basketball goes by the name of Kata Bates-Diop, who joins us now on the show. Kata, first, congrats on the award, but let's talk about that victory on Sunday. What was the significance of that win for your program? Uh, it was big. It was the first time we beat a number one team, and I don't know how long. Um, that was the first ranked team we beat this season. It was the craziest game in the shot we've had in a long time. You had 32 points in that game. What felt like it was working for you offensively? Uh, I was making my shots early, and then after that, my teammates just kept finding me, and it was, it was a great game, a great team effort. Why was zone so effective against the Spartans? Um, we knew that Nick Ward was kind of like a big part of their offense. We tried to take him out early, and then it kind of took him out of their offense. And let's talk about your progression as a player. Your sophomore campaign, you were averaging just 11 points per game. This season, leading the Big Ten with over 20 points per game. What's been the biggest change for you outside of being fully healthy now into this season? Uh, just an aggressive mindset, I think. I mean, the first couple of years, I was pretty passive. And then this last year, um, sitting out, it was, it was really good to watch it. And then this past year, I'm just trying to be more aggressive. How about your new coach, Chris Holtman, and the job he's been able to do with this group? Why is he such a good leader from a player standpoint? He was able to come in in June and just really get us all to buy in really fast. I mean, he came in so late. Um, it was right before summer workouts were supposed to start. And then he just, from that moment on, he, he started to build trust in us really early. And as one of the older guys on the team, can you reflect back on a moment or two when you really thought, hmm, this guy's going to breed a winning basketball program here? It was like our first team practice, and we didn't really do a whole lot of offense. He just focused on defense and doing what, you know, he felt was really important. And from that moment on, we knew we were going to be pretty good. And despite beating the top-ranked Spartans on Sunday, you guys are still on the outside looking in in the top 25. How much of that uh, does that give you a chip on your shoulder as you look ahead to the rest of the season to continue to get legitimate wins? I've had a chip on my shoulder since the beginning of the season just because, you know, everybody outside of our, my team, you know, counted us out. We were picked, you know, really low in the Big Ten, 12, 13, 14, but we just kind of stayed the course and we can to keep this chip on our shoulder no matter what happens. What's been the conversation inside the locker room amongst this team as far as staying together and continuing to prove why this group is the real deal? Uh, just doing what we've been doing, preparing how we've been preparing. Um, we prepare for number one Michigan State, how we prepare for every team, and that's what we're going to keep doing the rest of the season. And you have Maryland up next. How do you prepare for the Terps? Um, we know they're really good, you know, pick and roll team. We're going to try and do what we can to slow them down. But, I mean, obviously a really good team, and we can't let um, the victory over Michigan State kind of, you know, think that it's going to give us a win on Maryland or Thursday against Maryland. So now that you guys have that win in your pocket, as you mentioned, and you want to stay the course, given the expectations at the beginning of this year, which weren't too high, and now the expectations have maybe heightened a little bit, how does this team hit now the goals that you guys expect to hit at the end of the season? Um, we always had these expectations for us. We knew how good we were, um, how, how good we could be in our locker room. We just had to prove everybody else wrong, and that's what we're going to keep doing. Lastly, a hard-hitting question for you. Your roommate, JT, the past four years, you said you guys have lived together. What's one funny or fun fact about your fellow roommate that nobody else knows about that you would like to relinquish to us today? Uh, he snores really loud. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> Big snore guy. All right. Fair enough. Uh, all right, Kato. Well, we appreciate the time. Best of luck to you and your teammates the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you for having me.